Episode 2 of Undead Unluck begins with Fuko trying to find a way to prevent Andy from taking her virginity. She shares an unsatisfactory tale about kissing her grandfather with Andy. Fuko states that if she doesn't find a person or situation likable, the unluck he'd receive wouldn't be enough to kill him. Andy asks Fuko to follow him to one of his bases. Andy says he has many places set up like this across the world to help him deal with the suited individuals like the fellows from the first episode. Andy gives Fuko an impenetrable vest and explains who the men were that chased them down. He says they work for an organization that polices unidentified mysteries like him and Fuko. Fuko says they can handle more of their men, but Andy says it's unwise to think that way since this organization has people like them working for them. He refers to them as negators. He says it's best for them to flee whenever they get the opportunity and explains how the negators he fought 50 years ago were too strong for him. Andy says he got experimented on endlessly to give him a fighting chance and wonders what they do to Fuko. Fuko and Andy drive off somewhere. Andy says he has no destination in mind and just wants to flee as far away from danger as possible. Suddenly, members of the Union, the people Andy states attacked him 50 years ago, arrive via warping to challenge him. Andy struggles to combat the robot union member while Fuko tells him the robot's blue-haired companion is preventing him from using his limbs correctly. However, Andy confirms he's not responsible for his ligaments not functioning correctly. He says these men are external targeting restrainotype negators, ETRTNs. He says the robot paralyzed him while the blue-haired negator has her will. The blue-haired fellow tells Fuko that it's pointless to flee. He says her meteorite stunt raised her capture priority levels, which were minuscule prior to the incident. He says even if they fail, more negators from the Union will hunt them down. Fuko asks why no one's hunting him or his robot friend down if they're negators with dangerous powers. Before the robot tells his partner Shin to not inform Fuko about them, Shin refuses and says she has the right to know. Shin says there are ten members of the Union who are exempt from being pursued. However, they must carry out missions for the organization and new members must pass specific tests to get in. The robot tells Fuko she and Andy can't join since all the seats are filled. Andy thinks Fuko's plan is a brilliant idea and plans to kill Shen and his robot friend to open up slots for him and Fuko. Fuko touches Andy and heads to a far off distance. She believes a huge stroke of unluck is on the way. Unfortunately, it's not enough to defeat the robot and Shin. Andy flees and plans to use hit and run tactics and analyze his opponent's negator abilities to prevail in this fight. Andy uses his regenerative capabilities and special attack parts bullet to defeat the robot named Void. Andy attempts to fight Shin but struggles. Fuko tries touching Shin but he dodges. Andy scolds Fuko for getting involved. Andy admits defeat and says it's best if Fuko takes Void's spot in the Union. With no other choice, Fuko tells Shin to avert his eyes because she plans to do some X-rated things with Andy, surprising Andy and Shin. Even though Fuko is not fully in love with Andy, she doesn't want to abandon someone who's willing to risk their livelihood for her. Shin laughs and offers a solution to their problem. He's willing to let Andy and Fuko kill one of the Union members. He promises to put in a good word for them if they do. Shin says there will be a negator who will be searching for a UMA soon at Lake Baikal. Shin departs and Andy says he'd never have intercourse with a girl who'd pull a stunt like Fuko did. He asks her not to do that again. The episode closes with Andy telling Fuko about his plan to defeat the negator that Shin told them to kill. The episode review after the wild ride that was episode 1. Undead Unluck continues giving fans more bombastic content to observe with Episode 2. This time we gain more insight into the Union, Negators, and Andy's past run-ins with them. Furthermore, this episode showcases Andy's impressive ability to read his enemy's moves. Although he couldn't defeat Shen, his battle with Void was impressive. It's a pleasure to receive a protagonist who can combat foes from a physical and mental stature. Despite lacking battle expertise, many viewers will adore Fuko's efforts to protect Andy from Shen. While her plan of attack won't appeal to audiences, 
It shows she's willing to put her life on the line for others. Fortunately, Episode 3's preview hints that she'll be learning how to use her ability effectively. Overall, this was an enjoyable and lively episode of Undead Unluck. It gives fans some compelling action sequences, more insight into our character's world, and fleshes out Andy's character more. I'm excited to see what Andy's buddies will add to the story and see how powerful this supposed negator that Shin recommended them to kill turns out to be.